No. When they heard this, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? How about us? What do we do? Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. For, in other words, in order to obtain, for the remission of sins, and ye shall, not might, ye shall, receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are afar off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. And with many other words did he testify and exhort, saying, Save yourselves from this untoward generation. Then they that gladly received his word were baptized. And the same day there were added unto them about 3,000 souls. How were they added? They were baptized. That added them in. He didn't just say, okay, raise your hand. No, he commanded them what to do. But then with many other words he preached and exhorted them to save themselves from what? This untoward generation. Folks, do you and I live in an untoward generation today? There are so many perils out there, I don't know where to begin to start. You know, they tell us the swine flu thing, but you got to hurry up and go and get your shot because there's especially the high risk group, the pregnant women are high risk group. Now there's a long list of miscarriages that immediately after the injection, the women miscarried their children. But you see, where's the risk? Huh? I'd say it's a whole lot bigger risk to get the shot. They know what they're doing, these baby killers. They, they love doing that kind of stuff. They have no remorse over that. They know that the ingredients, and here's another little thing, and this, by the way, I don't, you, may, you may or may not know this, and I don't think you do, because I just found out about this myself. Did you know that the Journal of the American Medical Association and the uh, Journal of, um, I don't recall the name of the publication exactly, the uh, Immunology Journal that doctors read, and uh, you find it out there in libraries and so forth, they issue two different sets of magazines, one for the general public and one for doctors only. And they have little stories in there about things that they're planning to do, things that they are doing, and how the military was given the H1N1 injection, but it was different from the injection everybody else is getting because certain of these contaminants were left out, like the thimerosal, the mercury. There's just a little uh, conflict here. Now they have determined that what they're going to do is they're going to include in uh, baby formula the drugs that treat attention deficit disorder and other disorders that so many children have. They said if we put it in the infant formula we can give them slow doses of this stuff and we can help them develop better so that they won't be all hyperactive and all this kind of stuff. So they're, they're planning to put this in all the baby formula now. Yeah, so, so what's next? Now this is all in these, these magazines that are for doctors only, you see. You're not supposed to know these things. I'm not supposed to tell these things. But if I find out about it, I'm going to tell it. Somebody better do it. That's right. And there are many other such like evil things that they are doing. They know what they're doing. And now this infernal, and I do mean infernal, health care plan, of course, narrowly passed the House. They're working on it in the Senate. Let's pray to God it doesn't go through. 
I just received documentation that Nazi Pelosi, the Speaker of the House, through her various committees, has arranged for the penalties for those who will not comply. You have to buy at least a $15,000 health plan, you know, so that you can, you know, go to the doctor, the clinic, or emergency room, whatever. But you have to have this health plan, which costs you 2.5% of your income. And it's buy it, or the penalty is, are you ready for this one? A fine of $250,000. It started out at $3,000, now it's $250,000. And fifty thousand dollar fine, and not or, but and five years in prison. And if you buy it, you will be invoiced monthly for the premium, and included separately on the premium is the amount that is allotted for abortion coverage, which will go into a U.S. Treasury abortion fund. Think of it, our nation will have an abortion fund if this thing goes through for the purpose of killing babies by anybody who wants to do it just by request and you had to pay for it out of your premium. And it's listed as such separately on the bill. Buy it or go to jail. Well, you thought you lived in America? They talk about freedom and liberty and oh, they, they throw all these words around and how we're free here. I'm glad to live in America or be American where at least I know I'm free. You're not free. Not anymore. And if this thing goes through, the vice will tighten. But I pray to God that people will have the stamina and strength to stand up against this. I don't think they've got enough prison cells. And how are they going to extract a quarter million dollars from people? I honestly believe that the leaders in Washington are by every definition of the word insane. They're absolutely, it is a fruit salad. They are nuttier than an expensive fruitcake. They really are. They don't know what they're doing. Some of them do, but they don't, they, they're not rational. I mean, they understand it's a, a grand plan and so forth. But as far as logistics, none of it makes any sense. But that's just where we are right now. We're standing in this time where very soon, I believe, the sun is going to turn to darkness, the moon is going to turn to blood. The great and terrible day of the Lord shall come. But in the meantime, our defense, our hope, our strength is in the voice that God has given us. If more people would cry out, that's one of the problems, they put so much fluoride in people's water that they become docile, they can't think anymore. You know, it'll do that to you. They add fluoride to the water, it's no joke. You can't hold a thought, you can't think decently anymore. The attention span is gone. Did you ever talk to somebody, you try to tell them a little bit of something, and all of a sudden you, you lost them. They're, they're looking around. But the reason they look around like that is they're wondering, how do I turn this guy off? And you, you lost them. You, they, they're not comprehending. No comprende. They're not, they're not understanding anymore. The simplest things. We see all these people walking around out there and they look human. They got arms and legs and, and they look like people, but they're dumb as a post. They know nothing. And I don't mean to be insulting, I'm not trying to do that, I'm just saying they're so ill-informed, misinformed, uninformed. And all they care about is what game they're going to watch next, or what they're going to do for entertainment, or how to get a little money somehow, or how to this or that. Where is the character? Where is the honor? Where is the dignity? Where are those that will rise up in the name of God and do what is right? 